This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Solex 50mm brass padlock with a cruciform core, also known as a cross lock. This is a tie-made lock with an above average fit and finish, but the core inside leaves much to be desired. First, it says right on the lock that it is a 16-pin design, but that appears to be inaccurate because I can only feel 12 pins inside, and if you look at the key, it seems pretty clear that there are only 12 cuts. Even so, 12 pins is a lot, and some pickers may be intimidated by both the high pin count and the unusual format. But it turns out that these really aren't that hard to open. We're going to pick this in two different ways today. First, I'll do it the hard way, which is single pin picking, and then I'll show you a shortcut that can often be used to open locks like this in just a few seconds. So, let's get some tension in here to start with. I'm going to be using top of the keyway tension, at least I'll call it top of the keyway, with one of these Peterson flat five and a standard hook in 25 thousandths. And I'm just gonna be going down each one of these pin stacks. There are four sets of three, and trying to find a binder. Okay, click out of one, nothing on two or three. Click out of one, click out of two, nothing on three, nothing on one, two, or three. One, two, three, nothing there. Click out of one, click out of two, nothing on three, nothing there. It is a bit of a time consuming process, but it's really the problem is finding that binder can often require a trip all the way around the lock. Okay, click out of two there. Oh, there we go, got it open. So that was not technically difficult to open, but it was a little bit time consuming because of that high pin count. So let's see the fast way now. You see there are raking tools that are specifically designed to open locks like this. And if the lock doesn't have very good tolerances, a tool that looks something like this can be used to open it very quickly. It has two components. We have the raking tip, which I'm spinning right now. And then you can see four little posts sticking out. They fit into the keyway and serve as the tensioning device. So let's get this in there and see just how quickly this Solex lock can be opened. Okay. As you could see, that is very, very fast. So this lock may look intimidating at first blush, but if you know how to approach it, it really doesn't offer that much resistance. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.